Welcome back to another chapter of Message Crawler Video Manual. In this video, we're going to talk about how we can take saved search and relativity and convert that data into RSMF. All that without exporting it to that file. All right, so we're going to do PowerPoint first and then we're going to jump into the actual hands-on demo. Um, first, let's talk about why. Why do we have messages and relativity as individual records? And there are a couple of reasons for that. Sometimes uh, forensic software gives you an export such as an Excel file or CSV and you just load that data into relativity. And so you have your text messages as delimited fields and that's how they've been loaded there before. They already exist in relativity and you want to turn them into nice pretty RSMF files. And the second reason for that is when client wants to pick and choose which text messages are going to be converted to RSMF. Maybe you have 100,000 text messages and they don't want to convert everything to RSMF and then, and then redact what they don't want to produce. So what they say they're going to do is mass tag messages that they want, convert them to RSMF, do a second pass review, make sure everything looks good, and then produce those. So those are the two major reasons. Now, the problem that this tool specifically solves is when you export that file from Relativity, it exports date and time down to a minute and the seconds information isn't included in the DAT file whether you use a mass operation or desktop client. And we need that second information to make sure we sort our messages in chronological order. Now, if you do sort data inside relativity, it will, sec it will sort with second information in mind. However, you don't see that information. And to me, that makes it a little uncomfortable because I want to be able to see the data and confirm that the messages are in the right order. However, it would be acceptable to pre-sort your data in relativity, save it to a dat file, put on message crawler, and don't sort there. All right, the other benefits, less steps. We don't need to export a dat file. And this tool will automatically export native files for you. So again, you don't have to export those attachments. All right, before you open message crawler, what should you do? Well, you should make a saved search, right? And in that search, saved search, you're going to include your records, your text messages that you're going to be converting to RSMF. And you also want to make sure you include all necessary fields that are going to be used uh, for RSMF generation. And the requirements are the same as if you were to load, in, to lo load the regular DAT file. So you want to make sure you have some kind of conversation identifier, how you're going to be grouping those messages together. And again, you may not have it if you plan to generate that later. Uh, but if you already have that, then you should include it in your saved search. Also, you can add your optional fields here, such as deleted, importance, message type. But again, those are optional fields. You want to make sure you got your main fields, such as group identifier, uh, who sent the message, when they send it, and the content of the message. Standard workflow is going to be, you will go to message crawler, and you will navigate to your data sources and select relativity saved search. You'll know that it's in the preview mode right now. Preview mode just means it's new and there are a few more tweaks and changes could happen down the road. All right, once you inside uh, the tool, you will enter your relativity credentials. You will click on connect and list workspaces. So this will establish connection to your relativity environment and that'll populate lists of workspaces. You will select the workspace you're working in, then your saved search list will be populated. You will select the saved search you created in the previous step, click on load data, and you will see your saved search loaded into the grid. Uh, the grid is not the main uh, message crawler grid, it's just a temporary one. Then you can click on download native files. This will save native files to a folder. And then finally, you can export all that into a dat file or into the main grid of message crawler to perform RSMF conversion. So let's actually do that. I'm going to go to message crawler and I will go more import options, select my saved search. I'm going to line it up so it fits on the screen and I'm going to connect and list workspaces. Once the connection is established, I get a message saying, here we are. I'm going to pick my and run all right, we have a list of saved searches and I have my text message export. Now I'm going to say load data. And what this is going to do is load the saved search 
in my temporary grid. And here I can preview and just make sure this is the right safe search, this is the right number of uh, records, which is actually cut off, it says 44. So you could see how many records you have and just make sure you're working with the right data. And the next thing you noticed is we have this native path. And this native path is something that we need populated for at least attachments. So let's go ahead and select export folder, which I already have. And I'm going to click on download native files. And now you see the path is, start, is going to start to populate. And if we go over to the folder, you'll see how the native files are just showing up one after another. So now we have downloaded all our native files. And we can expand that if we would like to see. It is named by artifact ID. Um, and we also have a couple of system fields here. Uh, system artifact ID and workspace. They're just used for internal workings of message crawler. So now we have our saved search loaded, native files saved. We can either export this out to a dat file. Again, you can use this to just create dat files for clients. Or in our case, we are going to load this into a grid. And now we can work with this data just like if we have loaded this from a regular dat file. Right? We can map our fields. We can say our body is in our case extracted text. Uh, we have our uh, from is going to be our email from. We're going to have a timestamp. Attachment name is file name. And attachment path is native path. And we don't have any two. And that's pretty much all the configuration you have to do. You map your fields as normal and you have downloaded your data directly from Relativity into Message Crawler without having to do intermediate, intermediate steps like saving to a dat file or writing desktop client to export data files. All this was handled for you here. So that's all you have to do to get data from Relativity into Message Crawler. If you have any questions about this, please email me and I'll be happy to answer any questions. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next chapter of Message Crawler Video Manual.